Today we're going to talk about the multi-T, weld number four. Uh, again, we're going to grab two two-inch pieces and one four-inch piece, and we're going to make an X. You could do a multi-T on a T-joint just like that, where it's flat on the table. I find this harder because gravity is affecting the side of the weld and causing it to slouch out. So when we make an X and we prop this up, it's a little bit easier to understand how we sequence our metal if we have it propped up like this in the X pattern. It also gives you four opportunities to get a good score at it. And so we're gonna go ahead and we'll start with this. Again, we've got two two by four pieces and one four by four piece. Let's go ahead and gear up. The settings on this I've, all depend on the material thickness you're, we find for this weld. This is quarter inch material, so I'm gonna set it right around the quarter inch settings on the chart. If by chance you are cutting some 3 16th material, then come down a little bit to the next column on that chart to 3 16th. Let's go ahead and tack this together. I'll start by this and I'll sand these upright and I will just hold those two pieces just like that. All right, now that we've got that set up in a way, just like this, on this weld, I tend to like to push. I will go with that slightly forward angle, my head's back, and I'm watching the puddle as I'm pulling it towards me. And we're gonna go right down the center on this first one. And I, again, I pick to go nice and straight to keep my steadiness and watch my hand-eye coordination. If you feel like you're capable of doing some manipulation, some cursive eaves or some back and forths, uh, feel free to experiment with that. So there we go, we've got that nice and even down the center. And just like we've done in the past, we're gonna go one left and one right. Um, doesn't really matter at this point. If you were doing a horizontal one where it was propped up like a T, then you always wanna start at the bottom and stack up. But since we are doing this flat, you could go left or right. So you can see that we have our one up there, our root one. That first pass we always call the root pass and we are going to cover that completely now. And we're gonna shoot the wire right through the gap between our first pass and our second pass. So there is our multi-T MIG weld, or gas metal arc welding. And again, um, we could sequence several beads on this process, but this is more or less just to give us a quick rundown and refresher on hand-eye coordination, build our ability to go straight, follow a bead, um, all that good stuff. MIG welding isn't actually very reliable in a short circuit transfer, which is what we're doing right now on things over a quarter inch thick. As you start getting into thicker stuff, the short circuit transfer tends to be less reliable as far as fusion. 
Um, and so if you're gonna weld on thicker material and you're using solid wire, you wanna switch your gas out to like a 90-10 and try and go over into a spray transfer. All right, so uh, that's your multi-pass T-joint. You'll have four opportunities now to weld that and get it put together. And there you go, that's what it is. Pretty simple.